Oh no. It's scary here. Thank goodness I've got my warm clothes. Hi, I'm Game Guy. It's time for more Let's Play Super Mario Brothers 3. I think the two pipes on screen are linked. In case you wanted to know, welcome to Ice World, where everything is slippery and these enemies exist. <laughs> it's the worst, actually. Like, actually the worst. I took a pretty big gamble trying to run over that, but I think there's a secret in the sky somewhere? I don't remember where, though. I just know there's a thing that exists somewhere. Can I please get run speed? It would be a lot easier if I did it here and didn't risk my life trying to, to bop up a 2A piranha. There is a secret! Look out, it's secret door! Ah, yes. Secret door. Gotta use the ice physics to your advantage if you want to get all the coin prizes. Yeah, buddy. Coins for Mario. Well, mostly. Um, you know, it's a good thing you can fly to get up here, because otherwise I think you'd pretty much be soft locked in here, because you need to be able to break the things. Hello, Patui plant. I wanted to jump on you with a statue, but it didn't work out. Yo! It, it didn't work out, actually. I Can I not kill those guys by jumping with the statue? I, I guess we'll never know, because I've lost my everything. These guys are kind of a jerk, by the way. As I kind of noticed earlier, the spike ball stops being a harm thing as long as the enemy is dead, so don't worry too much about it. Don't worry too much about it. It's not a big deal. But please have a tail or fire to get past them, because otherwise it's kind of a problem. I looked it up at some point, by the way. The end spade apparently shows up based on score. I don't remember how much, though. <laughs> I looked it up, and I've already forgotten. Uh, the other thing I also noted about the end spade in particular, these bottom three... No matter which board you get, will always be Mushroom, Flower, Star. Like, for some reason, that seems to be 100% consistent across every single thing. So, you know, if you wanted to make sure... Yeah, see, like, I'm gonna kind of get a star now. All right, you want to be hilarious? Fine. Be hilarious. I see how it is. <laughs> it's just a thing. Um, but yeah, now that I've gotten those spaces all figured out, here's the part where I lose. Well, I know where the 10 is, I guess. Great. All right, I need to look at my items again. Now that it matters, because if I'm replacing, like, mushrooms and stars, it's not as big of a deal as if I were to be replacing better power-ups, you know? It's one of those things. Real quick, actually, speaking of items I'm basically never gonna use that are clogging my inventory, the cloud. If I use the cloud, it allows me to walk around as a cloud. Also, I can skip any level I desire, but only once. Uh, keep in mind, if I, like, go to the castle and die, it's gonna send me back to the last level I actually completed, so the cloud would be wasted in that particular case. It's kind of a risky thing. There's an item house over here, so I can kind of get away with it, really. Nice. A hammer, bro, for me to have. See, because now my last cleared level is right here. So, you know, just something of note. I mean, obviously, I'm still going to do this level anyway, but, you know, it's just it's one of those things. This level, I think this is the white mushroom. Unless it's a later one. Actually, I think it is a later one. I don't even remember what level the white mushroom is in the, uh, the, the World 5. It might- I, I might have tried to point it out at some point, but I don't even remember, uh, which one it could be. I don't know if that shell has any real, uh, use. It could, but I- I guess it doesn't. I mean, it's more like I should have tried to see what was in some of those blocks, but I didn't. This is the level with the moving clouds. You gotta watch out for the moving clouds if you want to have a good day. Please, it's for your best interest to have a good day. All right. There's a one up in that box. Uh, it's not that hard to get, actually. Nice. I got it. 
I mean, you can trust me, because obviously you heard the one-up sound. That's how you know I'm truthful. That's how you know. I've always liked these little ice platforms, by the way. The little, uh, the semi-solids. Um, they just, I don't know. Ice World always tends to look pretty nice in most games. Just, you know, in general, it's kind of a thing. I, sh I should be really using up my items, because it get, I, am I in another situation where I'm going to erase my hammer, bro? Now, because I don't want to erase my, freaking, I, I can't believe it. I've joined the club twice now. Wow. Yeah, would have erased a hammer, bro. Gosh, freaking, this is one thing I don't care much for with the item system in this game. It's just, it's a thing, you know? Like, wow, I sure did have to beat this guy twice and lose a life for basically no reason. Aw, oh, yeah, my favorite. I got a hammer out of it. That's actually semi-useful. Kinda, because I can break that rock to that... P where... Where then does this pipe lead? I don't actually remember. Turns out... Let's waste a music box, because I need to start using some of these dumb items that I'm not ever going to use. Obviously, <laughs> I need to make space for all the good things in life. I gotta do it, man. I gotta do it. This looks like a box that exists. I will take it. It's a thing that I will take. Time to die. <laughs> right on cue. Alright, fine. Be that way. Do I have any other items that I feel like getting out of my system? How about a cloud? Look at me, I skipped the level, guys. I did it. I, d I deleted the level from the exist. I did it. I did it. I Well, I would have liked to have a mushroom. You know, I can just run across this platform, but for some reason I'm deciding to not. There is a secret I'm remembering here. It's right there, but I didn't jump from the shell correctly. I didn't do it. You know what, I'm gonna go ahead and use a leaf. Sounds like it might be potentially useful in some capacity if I use a leaf. See, I'm just gonna lose it right here and not have a chance to use it otherwise. Let's run across the gaps. It's way safer than anything else you could do. All right. Well, I'm glad I have a second shell because I missed that time. Yeah, making that jump after the turtle bouncing is kind of a thing, turns out. Turns out. What is in here? I don't remember. A uh, tanuki suit. All right, well, you know what? This gives me ample opportunity because I can actually check out what is up here for once. Oh, baby. Check it out, it's coins. Yeah, coins for me. I'm a statue, but not anymore. Aw, oh, yeah. All right. Well, I have pea speed, but I don't really want it because uh, I, I'm in an unsafe sky zone. That's where I'm at. Uh, this is a multi-coin block. I have no idea where to go next, by the way. The camera kind of refused to go all the way down. Um, so let me go back over here and hopefully reset the camera. <laughs> Because I couldn't see, like, the ground. That's kind of imperative for my forward progression, if you ask me. Um, just, you know, putting it out there. That box might have magical prizes, but I'm not interested in those. Turns out. All right. I got myself a mushroom and a one-up to go with it. I'm very happy about things. Inventory's not full. Everything is probably good. Um, I can't skip the castle because there's no tile after it, you know? I have to... There has to... Like, the cloud can't skip levels with no tile after them. That tanuki suit was too powerful, so I must die. Don't get that mushroom... Or, well, that... Don't get that power-up. Like, it's just, in general, not worth trying to get. I've noticed... 
it's just kind of an unfortunate thing, the, the, the particular setup here. Because this platform just moves too fast and the power-up doesn't come out quick enough. So it's just like, man, that ain't worth the trouble. This is the spike floor part of the level. Gotta watch out. This is the, um, remember the candle enemies part of the level? I, I didn't react to that third rotodisc at all. I don't know why. I just didn't. All right, you know what? Let's let's use a mushroom. Let's let's do it. We're doing it, guys. We're doing it right now. This is what we're doing. This is the part of the game where I'm wasting my hat. You know, I just said, don't try to get that power up. It's not worth it. And what do I do? I try to get the power up, and it ended up not being worth it. Dang it, game guy. Listen to your own advice, you idiot. Just do the thing. All right, I'm actually gonna go ahead. So I don't have to worry about a candle man. I'm gonna face the other way. Seems like a good idea. Yeah, see that way he just walks off and I don't have to worry about him anymore. Uh oh, well, that turned out to be a safe way to do it anyway. All right. This is where a checkpoint would be if this game had those. It doesn't, by the way. <laughs> Uh, is there anything? Oh, there's a star. I'll take a star. Stars sound useful in this day and age, especially if I can get a mushroom to go with it. Stars last, like, a pitiful amount of time. It's kind of unfortunate. Just a, a little bit. Yeah, he's always protruded spikes. I don't know why for a, a little bit last video. I'm just like, does he need to do that? And then, well, turns out he does. The whole time, I'm just dumb. <laughs> it's fine. Ah, we can move on. I think this is where the pipe, the first pipe was. I don't know what that pipe is. Although thinking about it, I'm trying to remember other places where you can use the hammer on the overworld, and I don't remember, actually. Might be something worth looking into, but not today. All right, this is Spinny Platform Junction. Gotta watch out, cause these things will fling you good. You're not a bouncy block? I'm actually a little surprised. This looks dangerous, let's try it. I tried it, <laughs> and now to never try it again. You know, okay. I've never been the hugest fan of how when you die in this game, it sends you back to the last level you cleared. I get the reasoning for it. I think it has pretty much entirely to do with because of multiplayer functions in this game. That's a one-up, I'm pretty sure, by the way. Like, because in multiplayer, uh, you can go back to a, another player's spot on the map. Because, like, you'll notice it have that little M spot for a sec. And then uh, it just reverts back to the player icon thing. And then, like, uh, it just kind of becomes this thing where there's a fire chomp. Great. Um, the other player can go to that spot and, like, initiate a battle game. That just happens. It's a thing you can do, I guess. Um, and, uh, you know, things occur there in battle game time. You can steal players' turn and their little cards they get from beating stages. It, I mean, it's just kind of a for fun sort of deal anyway. But I mean, that, as far as I can tell, that's like the only reason moving backwards like that even exists. Like, cause I don't think there's any other reason for it. I mean, it also kind of validates the, the cloud power up a little bit, balances it a little bit, I suppose. But I don't feel like that alone is kind of a good enough reason. Do I want a leaf? You know what, I'm gonna keep the fire, actually. Mostly because Princess Peach warned me of the things that I can warm using fire. And it's gonna happen at some point. I know this to be true. This is the level where I need the leaf, by the way. <laughs> Gosh dang it. I just, it's fine. These are, these are, um, what are they called? They're buster beetles? They pick up these little ice blocks and they throw them, and they're in general kind of a nuisance. I 
don't know how it didn't get hit there, but you know what? It's fine. Also, I think I made a mistake. Um, I wasn't supposed to kill that turtle. But, uh, yeah. No, the goal here is you want to fly up here with the turtle shell and then make it through that nonsense. But I killed the turtle. Um, but it's fine. If you run out of leaf power-ups, you can get one here. I believe this pipe will take you to somewhere earlier in the level. But you can, in fact, just go through the other one. There's another leaf here, too, if you want. Um, but yeah, no, I need to keep the turtle alive. I need to keep myself alive, too, actually. That's equally important. Buster Beetle, I need you to settle down, Buster. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do anything here, because I need to have a leaf, and I do not have one of those. There's a reason I usually will actually just go back out through this pipe instead of the one on the right. There's various other little secrets throughout the level. This might be a level to use a P-Wing in. Just to kind of give yourself um, a head start. I was gonna say, please just, just go after this wall for me. Okay, thanks. Um, no, bad, bad Buster Beetles, bad. I'm gonna actually get hit, don't worry about it. I wanna see what the secrets are, I think. As long as I keep the turtle alive, everything is generally pretty good. All right, all right, what's up here? Wow, it's a whole lot of nothing. I love nothing. It's my favorite breakfast cereal. Mm-mm, good. All right, there's some coins up here. There's some bricks up there. Bricks are fun. Can you imagine what you can do with a brick? I can't. What are you supposed to do with a brick? Wow, that was that was like the most pitiful of slides under a block that could ever exist. Ha! Well, I missed that. But I want to know if there's anything in it. I want to know. I need to know. There was a one-up all along. Yeah. All right, so I know what's up there. Turtle's still alive. Everything is generally okay. I think that's it, actually. So the trick, again, I need to get P-Speed with the turtle in my hands. That's the thing I need to do. Gotta go up here. Yeah, this is like this weird kind of puzzle level sort of deal. I think it's neat, but man, uh, this probably stumped a lot of kids. <laughs> Back in the day, I feel. I think you can also literally just fly over the level if you have a P-Wing, so, you know, because this is the same room as the start of the level, so you just fly over it. This happens in a lot of levels, actually. <laughs> um, hello, N-Spade, how are you today? Are you okay? I've already forgotten where the thing I found was. I think it was the 10 coin. That's a 20. That's not a 10 coin at all. Well, I've done everything I could. Uh, all right, level six. Level six is also a level that goes inside a pipe. I would have confused this for the other one. World six is kind of the part of the game where I cannot remember which levels are which. I guess world five too, to an extent. Uh, fire might be nice in a level like this, because, you know, there's a guy I didn't know was still there. I should have known he was still there, because I never killed him, so, you know. This level is weird, because it's got these cheap cheeps that just, like, bounce out of the water in a weird way that's not seen in any other levels. It's, a, it's an interesting little thing, but no, this is, like, half a water level, so fireballs, kind of a good idea, I think. In general, firepower is pretty much king in water levels, so, you know, it's kind of a good time. I mean, unless I really wanted to use a frog. I don't think I will, though. It's, it's all right. Um, please duck under the fish. Please duck. Please duck. Please! I'm begging you! Um, all right. This, 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 this is no time for ducks. This is only time for shooting fire at fish underwater. I'm gonna have that roast fish dinner for breakfast. Yeah! All right. 
There's some uh, slight cut off in the, the, the water next to the pipes. Don't worry about it. That's just a weird translucency effect that exists. Watch out for spike and plants and fish. Gotta watch out for those guys. Man, fire is pretty good in this level. Turns out, get out of here, Spike. No one invited you. No one at all. I'm getting all the star fireworks, except for that time last time where I didn't. Yeah. All right, all right. Oh no, Hammerman came on screen. How dare he? <laughs> Why would you do this, Hammerman? I thought we were friends. Hey, look, a cloud. Nice. Nice. Anyway, uh, we're basically halfway through the world, by the way. There's still a fair amount left, I think. Uh, but next time, we're gonna go to the latter half of Ice World. I think we're gonna have a chill time. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you later and goodbye.